Hey everybody, it's Pastor Rhonda. I just wanted to come uh, and, and talk to you for a few moments today about magnifying God. You know, the scripture here in Psalms 34, 3, it says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. To magnify means to make bigger in your own sight. You know, these are my eyeglasses, and when I put them on, whatever I'm looking at doesn't change size. I just see it differently. I can see it. It looks bigger to me, and I can see its details more finely, um, and it makes it larger in my sight. And, you know, sometimes, especially in this time, we need to take time out of our busy life and busy schedule to just spend some time magnifying God, making Him bigger bigger in our own sight than the problems around us. You know, I took some time on Christmas Day and I just went away and got in the presence of God and thanked him for this, for sending his son and for everything that he's done in my life. And you know, I found the more I turned my attention towards him, the more I focused on him and magnified him, then the bigger he got in my sight. And we know that God really doesn't get any bigger. He's as big as, as he can get. Isaiah 66, 1. Isaiah 66, 1. It says, Thus says the Lord, The heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. And where is the house that you build unto me, and where is the place of my rest? But my point to you is, he said, Heaven is my throne, but the earth is my footstool. I mean, God is so big, he uses the earth as his footstool. And you know, sometimes it helps us to remember who he really is. He is not just, you know, daddy God, you know, daddy O, whatever. No, he is the almighty God. Yes, he's our father. Yes, he loves us and is intimately involved in our everyday life. But he's the almighty God. He's the one who spoke and the world became. The universes uh, hearkened and jumped into place at his command. My goodness, how big is our God? Uh, you know, uh, he parted the Red Sea for the children of Israel. The Bible says the water piled up and congealed on both sides, uh, enabling them to walk through on dry ground. That's the God we serve. We serve the God who raises the dead, who heals the sick, who is is the all-powerful one and occasionally we just re need reminded of who it is that we serve a and you know sometimes we can get so focused in on what the world is throwing at us and it's so in our face that we don't see properly that we don't see God properly that we forget the bigness and the vastness and the awesomeness of God. So I would encourage you, take some time and just magnify God. Make him bigger in your own sight than the problems are, uh, you know, that we're facing. I, I was thinking, you know, when I was uh, there on Christmas Day and again last night, uh, I spent some time just focusing in on God, making him bigger in my own sight than everything that's going on around us, reminding myself of who it is that's on my side, reminding myself of who it is that lives on the inside of me. It changes everything. It changes everything. You're not powerless. Almighty God is on your side. And if he is for you, who can be against you? The Almighty God is on your side. Amen? Let's magnify God. Take some time. Get away. Make Him larger in your own sight than whatever adversity is surrounding you at the moment. Love you guys. Till next time.